Greetings, I'm Garrett and these are reviews from Mob.org. Our guest today is a return to life occult participant in a parade of old ported hits. Meet the cult shooter, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. For your reference, I'll tell you that the original game was published in 2001, being a sequel to Wolfenstein 3D. Currently, there are about eight parts in the series. As in the rest of the series, the story is a fantasy regarding the Third Reich. I'll sum the plot up for you real quick. In the midst of the war, the Allied forces send the valiant intelligence agent B.J. Blaskowitz to the mysterious Castle Wolfenstein, and, naturally, with a secret task. As usual, everything went sideways in the beginning of the game, the Nazis seized our hero and shut him in the dark dungeons of the castle. Yup, as you already guessed, your primary task will be to get out. Fortunately, the Wolfenstein Citadel will not be the only place you see while playing the game. For example, your protagonist will have to visit a secret plant manufacturing V2 missiles and search for a secret Wehrmacht weapon there. Or, look for a top secret base breeding Uber Soldaten. You might ask me where, actually, is the promised fantasy. Let's start with the fact that the name Wolfenstein arouses tolerant associations from all the lovers of the mystical secrets of the Third Reich. For the most part of the game, our hero fights with an occult organization having the aim of raising a demon-like German King Heinrich. Besides, the Nazi scientists create an army of zombie ubersoldaten to help him. These, you have to smoke along with the usual SS men. The plot is, undoubtedly, the most significant advantage of Wolfenstein, but let's consider the other merits and flaws of the game. The overall gameplay could also be one of the game's best strong points. The game can be played in its usual shooter mode, just blast the enemies, like in stealth. The game controls, they're the weak point. It's not that the virtual keys have suddenly become inconvenient, the problem is the size, especially when you play with a device with a small screen. So, I don't recommend it for displays smaller than 7 inches. One more minus is that the keys are tightly attached to the game, like they don't disappear in the menu or during the cutscenes. They will catch some of the players even in their dreams, I think. Let's sum it up. In general, the game Wolfenstein is a cool shooter with an interesting plot, but with clumsy porting. Outdated graphics, even in terms for Android games, will probably scare off fans of modern video games, and the overall game PC orientation does not add any advantages to it. I recommend it for fans of the series, as well as lovers of any fairy tales about the Third Reich. That's all for today. If you liked it, then download the game, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join the group. This was Garrett and Reviews from Mob.org. See you soon.